When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a woman, but when I became a woman, I put away childish things. When I became a woman, I put away childish things. Good afternoon, YouTube. Y'all, it's been a while since I came out here and just devoted a few minutes to just chop up with you guys the goings on of late. It's been a while. Uh, and I've made promises in the past that I'm going to start doing more lives. I got um, a lot of things going on on my plate. And I'm going to hold true to that. I will be coming out live. I'm not sure on this platform, but definitely on my other platforms um but i have to say this i have been spending a lot of times on the yt um you know i take a break here and there and uh i've been viewing uh observing and absorbing content on you guys and a lot of new folks that i uh didn't know knew about a few of them a little bit but never really spent time on their channels and so i was uh privileged to be able to spend some time on your channels and um get to know you a little bit better and in doing so i and thoughts and insights and i just wanted to come out here i'm not out here to preach or teach to you nothing like that but i just wanted to come out here and uh you know let's examine if we will let's examine uh what's going on you know uh let's look at it as a 
me coming out of the bushes and just voicing my opinion, you know, uh, what I observed, you know, I'm not taking any sides. However, I will say this before we begin. I've always have, I will continue to do so. I will always speak up for children. I don't care if they mine, yours or theirs. I'm going to speak up for children. Y'all do know why, for those of you who don't know, as a mother, as a human being, we love the children, whether they're yours, mine, ours, or theirs. And I don't care if it's in the beef sector, the meat sector, the seafood sector, the flower sector, I don't care. When you speak on children in a negative manner or light, it is wrong. Now let's just let's just get this out the way. Because I believe this is one of the elephants in the room. I don't care how you dislike that mother, how you dislike that father, how y'all go at each other's jugulars, it doesn't matter. The children has nothing to do with you adults out here beefing with one another. They don't have anything to do with it. And they are children. You understand me? So when a mother, a father, a brother, a uncle, a sister got to come out here on these streets and voice their thoughts and opinions and threaten some of you all about their kids, and y'all shocked? Why are you shocked? <sighs> there is no, there's nothing that you could say as a grown man or woman that can justify you exploiting children out here on these streets, putting their pictures up, thumbnails up, whatever because you dislike them parents or you dislike how they thought about you or they roasted and gagged you when well, now you know it ain't no everybody can get it y'all need to stop with that ignorant stuff the kids can get it too that is so dumb and ignorant and i don't care what y'all think about me you already know that i don't I do welcome if you want to sit down and you want to, for me to talk to you. We can talk about it on a mature matter. I have no problem with it. But these are my thoughts and my opinions. And I mean, gee whiz. You don't have to be Einstein to know, baby, your moral caliber, you know. You don't talk about children. What's wrong with some of y'all? Huh? <sighs> I'm, I'm not going to stay on this subject long. There was a campaign, no dragging the kids. And now y'all taking that campaign and, and made it ugly. And I, I, I did a video, you know, a week or so ago saying, let's not lose sight of what the campaign is about. Whether you dislike the host of the campaign or the content creator that put together the campaign or associated with the campaign or not, let's not lose sight of what the campaign is about protecting our children out here on these streets and i've already said to you all if you were named in that campaign in a negative light how to handle it and I, i'm sure you all know what to do if your character has been def defamed or slander or whatever you know you know what measures to take to get your name removed if your name is still there then there must be something to why it's there i don't know search me Okay, so I don't want to, um, I just want to get that part off the way because I think uh, you need to know where I stand on this before we can go any further. So when a mother comes out here and got to go ham on y'all about the, her children, huh? Or a father got to come out here and go ham on you about their children, don't get mad. You can't get mad. You can't. First of all, you had no right doing what you're doing. 
And I've always told y'all, I've always, and I stand by this to this day, right now at this moment, you will reap what you sow. You sow ugliness, you reap ugliness. Y'all got to be careful on the things y'all put out here. Babies. Let's move on. Let's move on. I, I do want to add, I want the mothers out here that who were speaking out on where was everybody at when folks was going goddess. I heard you. You said, where was all y'all at when they were coming for my kids? Well, I can only speak for me. I did not know this had happened to you. I've always spoke out against it. And if I had known what had happened to you, I would have spoke up for you, baby. Trust and believe. I don't know if you know anything about my channel, but I got videos up right about it. The only reason why I haven't been out here discussing little Leah, little princess, because I just went off about Vanessa's child being on display. That holds true for Leah and all other children. Nothing's changed. I stand in what I said. Okay? So I want you to know, you there are mature adults out here and uh, that understand that what's going on about the kids is just, just it's hateful, hurtful, and it's just sickening. It's, it's despicable. It really is. It is. It is. Oh. babies now look I don't want to come out here and be preaching to you teaching to you I'm no preaching okay I just want y'all to look at another perspective now I'm not here to take sides no I'm not but when folks tell y'all leave them alone you got to leave them alone okay if somebody come out here and say, hey, leave me alone. You had your jabs. I took my jabs. Let's squash this. Respect that. Now, to the person who's out here saying, leave me alone, leave me alone. Well, then you got to stay. If you want to be left alone, you got to leave others alone too. You can't in one breath say, leave me alone, leave me alone. Give me my respect. And then within the same breath, baby, you cuss them out. You cuss their mom out. You you cuss out the deceased sibling. You cussing everybody out. But you want your respect. Do y'all ever sit and think before you turn that camera on? I believe stream y'all was the worst thing that could happen on this beef in this beef sector, baby. Y'all got stream yard and y'all don't want ham crazy. Some of these panel shows start out really informative and entertaining. You know, we get a good kiki out of, and then they all end up being ugly. Maybe I can count on one hand the shows that really stay positive. It's hard to do out here. It really is. Y'all need to dismantle some of these panel shows, baby. And those of you who are out here, speaking so negatively about each other spewing all this hate and strife i'm not talking about if you entertaining your audience and you roasting and gagging we know you don't mean what you say i'm not talking about y'all for example um i babe i babe come out here to have a good time with y'all she just having fun and what she says on her platform she ain't afraid to go to your channel and say it to your face she will do it we know that already so this is why nobody should have a problem with Abe because Abe speaks her truth and she does it in an entertaining manner. And once y'all be able to accept that, you won't have a problem with her humor. Okay? And if you do have a problem, if she came out on you personally, then you can attack her the same way. And I know you guys say, well, you know, you can't tell me how to fight. You right. But at the end of the day, examine what she does. She does it so lightheartedly. And if she come for you and she keep coming for you and you ask her to stop, then okay, then that's another story. But I'm talking about in general, she's just out to have a good time. And when it gets ugly for her, she'll go to your channel and let you know or on hers. But for the most part, she's just like, oh my goodness, did I just say for the most part? I told y'all I would never say for the most part. Y'all done drug that word to the ground. Ooh, let's delete me saying for the most part.
I can't help it. It's in my DNA. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Um, and I, babe, I'm using you an example because I like you. You are so funny. You're funny. You know, some things that you say is really funny. Some of the things that you do, you're so gifted and talented. I, I you know, I get a good laugh at a lot of the stuff that you put out because I do see your humor. Now, I'm not saying I agree with everything she says about you guys individually. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying her personally, her persona, she's lighthearted. She's funny. And you can't, y'all can't take this from her. She is highly intelligent. You can see that. You can see that. You can hear it. You know she's intelligent. In spite of the jazz we take at about her and and, and all the other stuff she got going on in the videos. But you know what? That's her character, though. And the minute y'all can accept her for who she is, you can move on. Because if you don't like what she's doing, you ain't got to watch. You don't. You ain't got to watch. So, like I say, you know, I'm looking at the girls, the ladies, taking jazz at each other. But let me tell y'all something. Let me go back to this This belief that y'all have out here in the beef sector anybody can get it in your family you come for me i'm going for your husband your kids but now y'all want to go for folks relationships their marriage y'all y'all what's going on here yeah <laughs> babies y'all remind me of when i was in junior high school in junior high school, back then, junior high went up to the ninth grade. And in the seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, we formed cliques. We got, you know, that's what we did back in the day. And maybe, you know, you got your clique of girls you run with, and y'all do y'all thing, and another group of girls. And, you know, same with the guys. You run with folks that you, you know, you can relate to. That, that's, your, that's your peoples, you know. You got they back, they got yours. Baby, y'all ain't on the playground and y'all ain't in middle school no more. Come on here now. All right. You don't need a whole group of people following you and agreeing with everything you say because they're not going to, baby. Y'all got to stop wearing your emotions on your sleeves. You come out here dragging children dragging someone's health status now y'all taking it to other now you want to talk about their sexual activities you're going in deeper and deeper and darker and darker you're entering into all these dark waters and what does that say to us who are watching and viewing you and even your subscribers your moderators baby your fellow content creators whether they tell you or not i'm gonna tell you they see you sinking baby in that quicksand you sinking to an all new low baby i'm amazed at how far and how low y'all can go in this gutter baby y'all seeping into the pits of hell from the words that you spew out of your mouth and baby at a certain age you ought to know better and do better love you my sister love you my brother don't allow no one to take your joy from you how can you allow strangers who's talking about you let get you to sink so low that you just don't care and you come out here acting like a jackass fool you're spewing all this ugly and you know when you're doing it is wrong but you can't help yourself because you got to prove to everybody you can stand up for you and you gonna put all this out we done already seen some of y'all threaten these folks and cussing them out and the minute they want to pull up and roll up y'all calling the police now come on here now either you gonna stand in what you say or you're not y'all too old babies you're too old now when you talk about the kids them parents gonna come for you okay they gonna that's what we gonna do they just gonna come for you okay that's just human nature they gonna come for you 
Y'all don't even let that go. You know that's why they're coming for you. But yet y'all want to keep on digging and digging and turning that knife and turning that knife and gossiping and gossiping and gossiping. You know what? Just by watching a lot of y'all. Because I knew you wasn't raised this way, and I don't even know you personally. I just think I can bank it on the fact you were not raised to be this ugly. Mm -mm. You had to learn to be ugly. You wasn't raised to be ugly. Most of you are. Uh huh. So, if you take your middle-aged self and you take someone that's in their 20s, barely reached 30s, and you want to compare yourself at middle age, who has been out here a long time, who has been out here in the world, who has been through relationship experiences, and you want to take your middle age self and compare you to the errors and mistakes of someone who's just starting out, there is no comparison, baby. You want to go in on these young content creators for speaking their mind. And you want to demand that these young content creators respect you. You're not respecting them. You're not even respecting yourself. How can you ask somebody to respect you when you don't even respect yourself, baby? Huh? Now, y'all used to say, and I don't even say this to y'all no more. Y'all used to say, she don't have number. We can stop with all that number thing. A whole lot of y'all ain't got none either. But I think we we passed all that numbers. No, baby. But I, I get respect. Some of you can argue. Well, you get respect because ain't nobody over there watching. Yeah, you watching though. Oh, you watching. And you know, I know I get respect because, baby, I'm not out here spewing hatred. I'm not out here spewing strife. I'm not out here being ugly. And I doggone ain't going to be out here at my age at my age or at the age of 50, at the age of 40, at the age of 30, at the age of 20, at the age of 19, 16. Talk about the children. Are you kidding me? There's some things you just don't do. If you know there are certain content creators out here, and Roses are sharing, I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to the beef sector. I know we in this sector, but some things need to be addressed, you know? And I love all y'all. I always tell y'all I love all y'all, and therefore, if I love y'all, I got to speak on some stuff that ain't right. I just got, I've been sitting here quiet for a while. I just got to speak on it. A lot of folks have grown and grew and they moved on from this mess. They tired of it. Leave them alone. They ain't bothering you. They don't want no part of this. They got aspirations, dreams, and goals they want to fulfill and they can't be wasting their time and energy on this nonsense that y'all doing. A lot of it. <coughs> Ladies. Fellas, y'all cannot keep hating on these young content creators. First of all, let me tell you right now, off the bat, they ain't playing with you. Huh? They not. Billie Jean does not need no help from any of y'all. Uh-uh. She don't. Billie Jean is the type of person. She tells you out the gate where she coming from. And if you say something to you, she address you immediately. See, that's maturity. She's always been that way. She don't fake it or shake it with none of y'all. She gonna come out here and say what she got to say. She gonna fix stuff that's wrong. She gonna correct stuff out here that's right. It's her platform. And if you don't like it, don't go over there. But what y'all want to do, y'all want to talk about her. You don't dislike her. You jealous of her intellect. Oops. Did I say that? You're jealous of her intellect. Y'all come on here now. This young lady just lost her mother. 
Y'all want to talk about that? Y'all want to talk about, y'all ain't hurting her. Y'all ain't hurting her. Because let me tell you, when you experience loss that close, baby, that mother spirit is with you. And ain't nothing she can't stand up to. Y'all break my heart when y'all talk about the see some family members out here. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you coming at these folks, deceased loved ones? Y'all crazy. A lot of y'all are just crazy. <sighs> Billy Jean don't need no help from y'all. Huh? You can learn from her, some of y'all. Y'all don't sway her no kind of way. So stop trying. Stop. And this is a young lady. Young. And she looking at a lot, a lot of y'all shaking her head. Y'all acting like fools, a lot of you. Court justice running amok out here. I'm not singling no one out, y'all. I'm talking about this sector as a whole. Let the thoughts and let my statements and let the chips fall as they may, baby. This ain't for everybody. This message is not for everybody. But I'm here to tell y'all, you cannot. Now, we are in a pandemic. We know that. But I try to provide and encourage them. You know, God is still on the throne, baby. He's in control. This too shall pass. Don't sit up here and let this quarantine put you in a straitjacket. Don't go cuckoo crazy because you're quarantined. Take this time instead of trying to figure out a little higher shit. Baby, let me tell you, if your aspirations is to get up every morning and figure out on what line or what shade you going to throw to outdo what they did to you last night. If you get up every day, every evening or every night, depending on your schedule, you ain't working nowhere. But your goals is to get out here and troll. You're not going to a content creator's channel to really listen to what the content is. You want to know who's talking about you in the chat. Baby, something wrong with your psyche. Who going to get up every day and worry about the people that's talking about, it in, about you in the chat? We know there are trolls out there. We know there are, you got your members, you got your subscribers, you got what you call the trolls, you got the bush folks, you got folks that just, but here's the thing, y'all, listen to me, babies. You don't know who these avatars trolls are and y'all need to lighten up on sir king too yeah no let me go and get this out the way now i know sir king and i baby not seeing eye to eye but at the end of the day y'all watch sir king y'all do and so you forget that he doesn't have his face there forget about his face not being there baby listen to his content you y'all spending so much time on stuff that don't even matter. So if he doesn't have his picture up, a whole lot of y'all ain't got y'all face up. So what? Who cares? Y'all who cares? If his message is clear, if he's entertaining y'all, if he's providing a little wisdom and knowledge, baby, that's what you want. But y'all ain't got time to hear the content. Because you go looking for the mess. You go in waiting to hear somebody talk about you. Now, that don't tell you something wrong with your baby. I don't know what it is what to tell you, babies. Now, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all right now. I've lived a long time. Babies, we in a pandemic. A lot of y'all got upper respiratory problems. A lot of y'all. Y'all know I suffer with allergies. You know that. Time to time, I'm congested. I sound like I'm stopped up. But I got a CPAP. I told y'all that way in the beginning. I've had my CPAP so long that I don't need it no more. But when I see that wind come through, you best believe, honey, old faith will be out here on my night stand and I get on it. Ain't a shame of it at all. And at first, I thought I was, you know, vanity kicked in when I first had my little sleep test. Like, mm, you crazy thing, and I'm going to use that. Oh, but baby, that became my best friend because you're talking about the best sleep you ever had. Baby, if y'all not in a dream realm at night, fully deep sleep, baby, you ain't sleeping. You understand me? 
you not. You want to be in that deep sleep, baby. And after a while, if you one of these persons out here at night and you've been told you snore, baby, and you know you snore, baby, that CPAP, your best friend. Baby, it'll get here and get rid of all that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all better go look at my video I did back in the day about the CPAP, baby. Y'all better go up in there and look at that video. Uh-uh. See, y'all don't allow these folks to make y'all feel bad about your health issues or pending health issues or whatever. Y'all go take care of yourselves. Don't let nobody make you feel ashamed. Huh? And don't you be ashamed. No. But at the same time, you know you got your own health issues. Baby, you better guard your heart and guard your mind and your spirit. And baby, watch what comes out your mouth. Watch what, and y'all can come on. Oh, you want to talk? Take it to the church. Y'all so stupid saying that. Go to church. Go to church with it. No, some of y'all need to be there. Huh? Huh? Babies. Now, the pandemic's out here. We got more and more worshiping services on these YouTube streets. I recommend y'all take some time and look at them on Wednesdays and Tuesday and Wednesday nights. Get y'all a good Bible study lesson. And then on Sunday mornings, get that word in your baby. Be trained and be diligent in knowing on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Let me go on and tune in and get me a word. Get it in your belly because it is evident that a whole lot of y'all ain't reading the good book. Y'all ain't. Babies, you're not. And you can say, well, I'm young. I got all the time to wear. No, baby, we don't. You, we don't. None of us. No. Huh? But what example you going to have? What example you going to have? Huh? Like peas in a pod, baby. Hmm? We can't distinguish. We can't distinguish one pea from the other. A lot of y'all act just the same. Huh? Before we turn you on, we know what we're going to get just by your titles alone. And here's the part I want to tell y'all, babies. It doesn't look good. It's not a good look on some of these titles that y'all come up with with all this ugly language. Baby, don't look good on you. You think you hurting that person you throwing them shots at. You ain't hurting them, baby. We looking at you sideways like, oh my goodness, what's wrong with her? See, a lot of these folks and I grew this mess to where when y'all used to come out here and go at each other, it, it was entertaining for a lot of them at first. And they laughed. But you have noticed these streets have changed. This virus has brought on a lot of change in a lot of folks. And they got most serious things to think about. So when they want to come on YouTube, they want something that's going to give them a good roasted, a good laugh, you know, or something they can learn, or some informative information. Want to know what's going on? What's your story? What's going on in your family? We all got our stories. We can learn from each other, but babies, if you purposely come out here. Now, ladies. Ladies. <laughs> Whew. This is what y'all got to do. Listen to me. Babies, listen to me. When these sisters come out of here, brothers too, when they come for you, and you know in your heart of heart you ain't threw no shade at them recently, don't say nothing to them. Mm -mm. Don't give it life. See, they coming at you because they know you. They know you're going to come back. They working on their numbers, their popularity. They going at you because first of all, they think you're weak. And number two, they think they know you better than you know yourself. So they know they come for you. You going to go ham, go left, cuss them out. Oh, they delight in all of that, baby. They delight in it. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. Let me see who this is. Oh, that's my sister. She'll call me back. Sorry about that. Listen to me, babies. I know it's hard to do. I know it is. But when they come at you, at some point, you ought to not even have the energy to want to go at it. I know a lot of y'all don't have the energy to want to go fight these folks. Let them say what they want to say and move on. 
Y'all take a chapter out of Jay Wilson's book. Don't say nothing. Don't give it life. You hear me? Don't give it life. They'll leave you alone. And when you do that, you don't look bad. They do. But what I will not tolerate, as for me, I will not tolerate or spend my energy or time subscribing or supporting any content creator that comes out here and blasts somebody's health status and death sentence like you almighty God. You gonna come out and say you gonna be dead in a couple of years. Baby, you better watch what comes out your mouth. I don't know how y'all can purse y'all lips, those of you who say these ugly things to folks. At one minute you was in love with him, you, you're good friends, you love him, and now you turn around and say the most ugliest things you can say. Why? You know why you do it? Because you can't keep up with the way they sparring with you. Bow down, bow out gracefully, baby. If the if the reeds and the shade they throw on is better than yours and you know you ain't got an answer for it, just bow on out. First of all, because you started in the first place, more or less. Bow out. But rather, you want to come out here and talk about somebody. That's your trump card. Now y'all done elevated. You done went from so-and-so got HIV. So-and-so out here having raw dog sex. Now we at, you got AIDS. Baby, you can't be out here saying somebody got AIDS and you don't know nothing about these people. What's wrong with you? You can't do it. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all know, you know, babies. Ooh. I got to be real with y'all. I'm just sitting here. I just got to be real with y'all. I'm just telling y'all the truth, baby. If I don't come out here and tell you the truth, then that's going to be left in me. Why did not I come out here and tell you? I got to tell you. I got to tell you the truth, baby. You can't do that. Because let me tell you, every time you come out here and wish death on somebody else, what you think you doing to your own life? Huh? Y'all don't love yourselves. And you don't. Because, baby, if you did, you would stop. Y'all been playing checkers too long. Shout out to Abe. Too long. Y'all wear y'all emotions on your sleeves. So now we know you done come out here from being a keyboard bully, a troll as y'all call it, to being a stream yard gangster, keyboard gangster, stream yard gangster, panel show gangster. Now we back to Telling everybody, you ain't showing your face. Come out here and show your face. We don't want to hear from nobody that ain't showing my face. And all y'all that be saying that, you ain't showing your face today. Now look at here, y'all. With us being quarantined, we've all picked up a few pounds. We ain't got to hardly be real about it. I picked up some. You picked up some. They picked up some. We all have. It's human nature. We locked up in the house, blah, blah, blah. What we going to do? We eating them. That's why I got the weights right at my bed when I roll out. I got some in my office right there where I got to walk over them. Baby, I better pick them up. Huh? And reward yourself when you do take time to love on you. And that's why I do these videos about meditating and creating. I, don't, I do these videos to inspire not just me, y'all too. What I even say, sometimes I don't even say nothing in the video. I want you to get what you get out of it. Sometimes I take my time just to get the right picture and image so that two people can look at the same video and both of them get something different. That's what that's that's what I, I'm aiming for. Something different from all of you. But what y'all not going to continue to do and y'all need to speak on it. Y'all got to stop seeing y'all in love with everybody who's in the LGBTQ community. But when something go left, then you want to show hate, you know? So you didn't really respect them in the first place. Because if you did, you wouldn't say the things you say. Don't put labels on people. People are people. We don't have to single out their sexual orientation. What's wrong with you? That's the problem now. Respect who they are. 
pray for them, love on them. Now, let me tell you something. I always had a special place in my heart for, for Rico. He don't even know this. First of all, we born on the same day, so, you know, I got to love him. Mm -hmm. But y'all stop trying to be Rico is a young man. What is wrong with y'all? He's going to make mistakes, but in between making his mistakes, he speaks a lot of truth. Stop it. Stop it. Y'all want to come at Chopper. Leave him alone, but see, Chopper has grown a lot. I mean, I, Chopper, you growing, baby, I see. Oh, yes, you are, baby, you're growing. You're growing. What used to bother Chopper a lot yesterday, don't bother him no more. It, it don't. And what's bothering Rico today, tomorrow won't bother him no more. It won't. But you folks want to criticize these young content creators for what they doing and your behind done live twice as long and you still doing dumb stuff come on y'all i'm not telling y'all this if i didn't care about you because i do i love all y'all i don't care how you feel about me but i'm gonna tell you the truth y'all ain't got no business talking about vanessa's son you had no right putting that baby's picture out there y'all you have no right having princesses picture all over your page and still because you get so hard-headed refuse to take that baby picture down but now you out here fighting like scratching like a cat on a on a on a screen trying to convince people to leave you alone leave you alone have you left princess alone in spite of how you feel about a mother but have you left that baby alone huh no, you haven't. Every time we got to see those pictures of that baby on your platform, it takes away from you. It diminishes you, baby. Come on now. And anybody else out here that got to talk about these kids, y'all out here at 2 and 3 in the morning, you forget you on that camera. I don't know if you look it up or what. I don't know. It's none of my business. But whatever you're doing at 2 or 3 in the morning, you're on the dark on the camera, and you cussing out everybody. You're cussing out of everybody you can think of, but then there's some folks you won't touch. Huh? Huh? Y'all ain't that drunk or full of alcohol. There's some of them you won't touch. Huh? You may throw hints out about them, but I notice that some of them, y'all, y'all stick to the same ones. Why? Because they come back, you come back. Y'all delight in evil. Let's call it what it is. You really delight in evil. And baby, God, is, let me say something to you, baby. Don't allow nobody to have you take your joyful home with your family and your husband and you take some time out to be out here with your subscribers, huh, to entertain your people. And instead of being entertaining and having a good time with people that follow you, that subscribe to you, you got to turn around and address mess all the time. No, baby, don't do it. Don't. It ain't that serious. It's not. Y'all got to stop worrying about what people say about y'all appearance. But baby, when they talk about your kids, I do understand it. But a lot of y'all are out here fighting with each other because somebody's saying you're ugly, you fat, you smoke, you stink, your weave is ugly, your weave is chick, cheap. Your hair is ugly. Your toes are ugly. Are you kidding me? I don't even know how y'all got the energy to sit up here and come up with that. Rather than, baby, take that pen and paper and let's, let us hear from you. What's going on with you? What happened in your day to day? How did you inspire somebody? How did you lift up somebody? How you lift up yourself? Huh? heard a good word you want to share it direct folks to some encouraging channels some some church channels hey i heard this word from so and so y'all go on over here and, and, and go check them out none of y'all do none of that why a lot of y'all is in that pit rolling around in that mud 
waiting to do evil and evil and evil. And what happens when you keep doing so much evil and talking about each other like this, and then folks don't even bother you and you want to bring them up and talk about them. What end up happening, you bring ugliness that they don't put aside and don't even have in them. Now you want to pull that ugliness out of them. What does that sound like, baby? Who does that sound like? Huh? Who am I describing? Who do you belong to, baby? Huh? Because it's questionable out here on a lot of y'all. Who you belong to? Huh? By what you display out here. Baby, disappearing acts, I tell you. Disappearing acts of faith. Disappearing acts of morals and value. Disappearing acts of human kindness. Y'all got your priorities wrong, a lot of you babies. You focusing on the wrong thing. Now, what drove people to you in the beginning is what's going to get people back to you or keep people with you. There had to be something about you that attract people to you. And I can remember a lot of y'all in the beginning. Y'all were happy. You smiled. You laughed. You brought energy to your channel. We were glad to see you because we know what we was going to be able to take from you. Even in your silliness or your goofiness, we took something from you. That's what we loved. You see? Then you allow. And you didn't, a lot of you didn't do it consciously. It just happened and it happens to us all the time. I'm not excluded. It happens to us all the time. We let folks put us in a pit. Before we know, we listen to so much negativity that we are waddling in that pit with them. You waddling with them. How are you waddling with them? Because you are allowing it to get in your spirit. And you know it's in your spirit because instead of listening to your spirit, you spew out your comeback. You spew out, spew out all that negative, ugly hate. And let me tell you something, babies. You keep on talking like this. The beauty that y'all so value so much out here, the beauty, the little beauty that you got, it will be disappearing. I've lived a long time and I have watched jealous women, envious women. I'm talking about the women now. I have watched jealous women, envious women, baby, lie on you, lie on me, jealous of me, envious of me. And while they lying behind my back and won't say it to my face or, or get in groups and whisper about me, but you want to learn from me at the same time. You can't make this up, but I'm going to tell y'all through my life, and a lot of y'all can speak on this, folks that's always talking about you, it's not really about you. It's something going on with them. Accept that and you can move on. It's not really about you. It's something going on with them. Their insecurities. And they just taking it out on you, babies. That's all. And you know what's so sad? Because I know y'all care about each other deep down. You really do. You really do. Y'all just going through these moments. One day y'all can be all up, next day y'all down, next day y'all up, and then somebody hurt, somebody come back and carry these bones to you, and then you down again. Don't allow it, honeys. Don't. And I know y'all notice a lot of content creators don't be bothered with y'all no more. They don't even speak about you no more. You know why? They don't have the appetite for it. Baby, it's old, it's tiresome. They don't. They don't. And this is why I try to put out these videos, whether 100 or 300 sim. I don't care. But that's what I'm fulfilling my purpose. Huh? Lolly, y'all don't even know what your, your purpose is, babies. Get on your knees more. Bow your head. And talk to our farmer. He's waiting on you, baby. Y'all got to open up y'all hearts and, 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 and let love in, babies. Let love in. 
It's not a good look on you, baby. I'm sorry. It's not. I don't. And a lot of y'all need to close down, shut down these panel shows. They not working for most of y'all. For a whole lot of y'all. They not working, babies. It don't bring out the best in y'all. It bring the worst. I don't like panel shows. Uh Uh-uh. If I'm on a panel show and I can't see everybody on the show, I ain't going to be on there. Uh huh. Thank God for st- one thing about StreamYard, you can see everybody face that's on that show. I don't want to be on nobody panel where I'm single out and everybody can see me, but I can't see you. Baby, uh uh-uh. uh. No ma'am, no sir. Uh uh-uh. uh. Feeling like I'm just a bullseye, a target. And what's sad, babies, come on now. If you know you're going to be the sitting bull up in that panel show, don't go on there. Don't go on. Don't set yourself up for the okie doke. A lot of y'all be bringing hurt to yourself. On you don't need to put yourself through it. Stay away from these folks that don't mean you no good. You know, hang around folks that's, that 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 that's, can give something to you, impart something to you. Whether it's something funny, inspirational, encouraging, you know, food for thought. Come on here now. And y'all leave these young people alone. Huh? And I'm going to say it again. (coughs) There is nothing worse than seeing a grown man or woman talk about somebody's health status out here on the street. It is none of your business. Now, if that content creator didn't come out publicly and announce to all of us about what their status is because they were forced to, that's one thing. But if you going to take that and stir that pot and come up with more stuff and more stuff, why? Because they roast better than you. Why? Because you don't know how to come back at them. First of all, baby, those should be the least of your worries. How to come back at somebody. <coughs> Y'all too sensitive, baby. You're too sensitive. You are. Develop some thick skin, baby. <coughs> and don't have these bone carriers bringing that junk to you. Huh? A lot of folks want to, oh, I just want you to know, yeah, but you don't want to know. Huh? You know? You want respects, babies, you got to give it. You hear me? Follow your blueprint. Not nobody else's. Follow yours. It's ready for you. It's been there from the beginning, babies. Your blueprint has been sitting there waiting on you, baby. Come on now. Get back to you. Don't lose your identity out here on these streets. Huh? Just like a caterpillar, baby. As you grow, and in due season, in due time, huh? Even a caterpillar, baby. Come on here now.
ladies of class and distinction, baby. We don't go there. There's some things we don't get into. We don't wallow in no mud and filth. You hear me? We don't sever your ties with that type of people, baby. Don't do it. If you know you weak in that area, baby, then remove those people from you, baby. Come on here now. Men and women of class and distinction, baby. We don't wallow in mud, baby. Come on. Huh? Be your beautiful self. You're beautiful. Oh, y'all. Yeah. He made you, baby. He made you. There you go. Get your joy back, babies. Get your joy back. Roses, this video's not for everybody. I'm talking to the beast. It's not really a beast. Get your joy back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're unique.